I can't thank you enough for letting me stay. It's no problem. After everything that's happened with your mom recently, on top of what happened with the rest of the family, it's the least I can do. Still though, you didn't have to. Are you gonna answer that? I guess I should. Hi. Is this Sophie Walton? Yeah? What are you calling for? I'm so sorry, Sophie, but I've called on behalf of the mental hospital with terrible news. Your mother <laughs> What's with the sad face? Mom. She's gone. What? How does that happen? That's what I was thinking too. There's no way this is all an accident. But that's why I called. Other than to just tell you guys what happened, I was wondering if you guys could help figure this out? Can't you do it yourself? I would try, but I've got to keep Soph company and make sure she doesn't go missing too. There's no way that's just an accident, right? Well, it could be. There's no way everyone going missing is an accident, Misty. How are we supposed to figure this out, though? Where are we even supposed to look for clues? I'll let you guys figure that out. I've got to go check up on Soph. She's locked herself in her room. Call me if you find anything. Fine. Well, she was no help. It's a start, I guess. Well, how about Bond's Burgers? Why that place? Are you just hungry or something? No, hear me out. It's a bit of a stretch, but maybe since Sophie's dad owns the place, maybe there's clues or something inside as to where they went, or why they went missing. Better than anything I can think of, so that's fine. But shouldn't we wait till nighttime to go snooping around? She's got a point, Cal. Fine. Meet up outside Bonds at night. Sounds good? Sounds good. Fine by me. Maria was supposed to be here by now. Nighttime wasn't very specific, Cal. Still, she should be here. What took you so long? Who knows when people might drive by and see us sneaking around? Oh, come on. I'm sure we're not the most suspicious thing to ever be seen outside here at night. Did you seriously think they'd leave the front door open after it closes? Can we please go in now? I don't want to be here for too long. Fine. So, how are we supposed to get in then? I can try and ram the door. That would definitely sound every alarm. You got any better ideas then? Actually, I do. Unlike you all, I planned for this. So, was that why you were late? No, I was in the middle of a nap and my alarm didn't wake me up. Seriously? Just follow me. Now what? Do I just break it open? Nope. That's why I brought supplies. Now we just gotta find clues. How about we start with the security room? Yeah, but I never bothered to find out if they had a night guard or anything. I thought the whole point of us showing up at night was so that it was... empty? Seriously? How about we just split up then? I guess that could work. Have you two, seriously, never watched a horror movie? This is like the perfect place for us to die, if we split up. Are you seriously that afraid of some children's robots? They're off, so they can't do anything anyways. Exactly. If it makes you feel any better, I can go with you, Misty, while Maria goes on her own. I guess that's fine. <laughs> See? We're gonna die! Oh, come on. That's probably just a rat. There's no way a rat made that loud of a noise. Seriously, Cal? Now you're scared too? Uh, I don't know, Maria. Misty's right. This is starting to get a little scary. It probably knocked over some pots or something. Now I'm going to go find Sophie's dad's office. You two can go wherever. Damn it. 
Of course it's locked. Good thing I brought... Uh... Very funny, guys. I know it's you, Kel. How are you here? You're not supposed to move. Misty, you might have been right. We start searching too, I guess. Nothing else we can really do. I guess we can try and find a different office of some sort. Cal, when did they get here? Uh, I'm sure it's nothing. They probably were always here and we just didn't notice. But they were definitely there on stage when we looked. No way they were programmed to do all that. We should have just left here after hearing that noise. Maybe they're just programmed to go here after the store closes so they can get repairs in the morning. I take it back. There's definitely no explanation as to how they're here. Kel, I don't want to die. Kel, let's just get out of here. I'm right behind you, Misty. <laughs> Hurry, let's get out of here. It's chasing me. There's more? No time for questions. Move! Maybe we can try the front door from this side and unlock it to leave. That might work. Let's go! Damn it! Now what? The vent's the only option. I'm not trying to sound any alarms and make this worse than it already is. How does that thing even fit in here? I can't die like this. Just hurry up! Is it Shaylee back inside? I don't know way to find out. We gotta tell the police or something. Do you seriously think they're gonna believe what just happened? It won't hurt to try. Uh, 